Hi, this is Rachel Gable with your daily uh, Fair Cattle Markets update for Tuesday. I, uh, I just stepped in the barn real quick because the wind is just howling and I'm waiting for some, some stuff to get moved with the loader and waiting on a feed, to feed another pen. So I just ducked in here really quickly. Uh, our sale, our production sale was this weekend. So uh, it's been wild and crazy around here. And I'm, I know all, all, we're all busy right now with calving and sales and bull sales and all, all manner of things. A couple things that came across my desk today that I wanted um, to make you aware of. The first, of course, is with the wind has come some pretty major fires, especially in South Dakota. So certainly my prayers are with you if you are in that area. Uh, I know some folks are certainly evacuating or preparing to evacuate. So if, if you're among them, uh, know that you are in all of our prayers. Uh, secondly, uh, several landowners in Wyoming, Colorado and North Dakota have received a letter from the Air Force about the Corps of Engineers wanting to do an environmental survey. And I did some calling and what they're doing is there are missile silos in those three areas. Uh, in Colorado, it's up around New Raymer, up in that area. I'm not exactly sure where they are in, in Wyoming and North Dakota, but we'll bring you full coverage of it. So um, those missile silos are going to be replaced with a new system. And I don't know enough about missiles to be able to just speak off the cuff to you about it. But the reason that the waters of the United States and endangered species are mentioned in these letters, which I'm sure just give you heart failure when you look at them. The reason those things are mentioned is because the Clean Water Act requires that those environmental surveys be done by those entities before they do something like this. So they're at first blush, it doesn't appear like they're on a, on a land grab and I do not think it has anything to do with 30 by 30. I'm gonna keep digging into it this week. I'll see what I find out and we'll have full coverage of it for you. But at this point, it looks like they're just resurveying and doing their environmental study as required by the Clean Water Act. And that's why the endangered species in the waters of the United States are mentioned in those letters their landowners are receiving. So I have a, a call and an email into the United States Air Force, which is something I've not done before. And, uh, and we'll bring you full coverage of it. But that's one of the big things that came across my desk today. Looks like the bull sales are going strong. Sorry, <laughs> wind in here now. Uh, looks like all of the bull sales have been pretty strong. And boy, I'm really enjoying seeing pictures of all of the calves that you guys are putting up and uh, everything's looking good. So I'm, I'm glad I'm happy for you. So at any rate, I'll look for full coverage of that and everything else that comes up this week. I hope you're safe from the fires. I hope this wind dies down and I hope your calving barn is all calm tonight. I'm Rachel Gable with your Fair Cattle Markets Update.